Hey, so I'm Rochelle Weisenbach. My 9-11 story is on the morning of 9-11 when the news of the first airplane hitting the first tower uh, came across the news. It came across my radio as I was driving to work on Brush Creek Boulevard in Kansas City. I was an in-house graphic designer in advertising design at Sasslin Publishing Company and that was in the Board of Trade building in Kansas City. So there is a strange quiet when I got to the office that morning. Um, working in the Board of Trade in Kansas City, there was traders upstairs all the time, so there was always a lot of commotion, a lot of movement, and the publishing company that I worked for did a lot of trading. So it was really strange because it was so quiet when I got there that morning, um, except for the TVs they turned on. Um, and once the second uh, plane hit the tower, they pulled us all into the conference room and we watched in horror as um, that happened. Um, nothing, no work was being done. Um, everything just like stood still. So. Eventually, um, after the third plane started um, approaching, they sent us home. And they were like, we were in the Board of Trade. So they were afraid that something might happen to the different Board of Trade buildings in Kansas City or in other, other areas of the nation. So for safety, they sent us home. And the strange, strange thing is when I was leaving, um, I looked up above on the roof and there were sharpshooters on the roof. So just in case any rogue planes came, they had sharpshooters or if anybody tried to do anything just to keep us safe. So anyway, that was the beginning of a complete life change for me personally. Um, it spurred a lot of things with advertising and because I was in advertising, um, it affected me. People quit advertising. The economy like shut down a little bit um, and I was in in-house advertising at that um, firm. So eventually I was um, released and let go and laid off and they didn't know when I would be called back in, but they gave me an amazing pension that allowed me to go back to school and I made the decision to become a teacher. So that's why I'm here today.